Hello, 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 boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's a new porcupine tree song out. I know, I wasn't going to do it, but I like the old do re me. I love the money, because everyone will come here and watch it, and I'll engage with them on the chat, and I'll make a little bit of cash out of it, because, you know, uh, boy's got a grift. A boy's got a grift. This is my equivalent of selling kisses to sailors down at the docks. This is this is what I have to do. This is how I prostitute myself. Now, I'm going to do one of these live listen things. Now, for the incredibly stupid out there, um, I'm not going to be playing the audio. I'm going to be listening to it, but I'll count you in. So you can kind of listen. You can queue up yourself. Uh, why am I doing that? Because copyright. Yeah, you should know about copyright. Because Wilson and Co. will claim the video, my video, and then they'll get my money. I don't want them to get my money. I want my money. They can have their own money, you know. Even though it is, it's kind of fair use, but we don't play to those rules because the fair use rules is a, a bent all over the place. But I'm getting off topic. There's a new Porcupine Tree album coming out. Um, closure continuation. Um, and this is the second song released from it. And I know how much you enjoyed my last review, kids. So remember, if you hate this video, thumbs it down with all your vigour and leave me a very um, salty, aggressive, abusive comment in the box below. And there won't be any music again. Got to reiterate, they won't hear anything because of copyright. Right? So I'm going to... I've wasted about two minutes just explaining myself because people are stupid and Porcupine Tree fans are the dimmest of the fans. We do know that. They're, they're just below the Cardiacs fans, aren't they? Because the Cardiacs, their fans, very dim. So let's play, shall we? I'm going to put on the headphones of shame and I'm going to play the song and record my thoughts and you're going to hate it, because thoughts, I might like it, what if I like it, <gasps> what if I enjoy it, have you, have you considered that, what if I actually enjoy it, what if Stephen Wilson has written a corker, what if he's written the best song in the world, we couldn't remember the best song in the world, <laughs> this is a tribute, oh, sorry, no. Tenacious D, there we go, that's my frame of reference, Rock. The headphones are on. Beverage in hand. I shall begin. I'm going to count you in. Three, two, one. Cue the music. Oh, it's a bit of guitar. Oh. Oh, very emotional. On the new day, find yourself a better way to meet the future. It's all that you crave. Silhouette of the new day, of the new day. Well, it's minimalist, isn't it? Not a lot going on. Some synth washes there. Whoosh. Drums. Easy listening mode. Live again. On the new day. <laughs> Incident vibe, isn't it? Yeah. Of the new day.
the hour of almost rain. The night becomes the day. What cliche will come next? Oh, loud bit. That's the bit where you nod out. Rock and roll. Yeah, we've heard it before. <laughs> Oh God, they're parried in themselves, aren't they? It's also got that, um, Oh, God, it sounds like that other song, doesn't it? Oh, crikey. From In, In Absentia. It sounds, again, very much like that as well. It's the old days. Well, it's no new ideas here, are there? Loud bit. Rock! 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 Wow! Oh, 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 this is so good. Oh, oh. You, you like this, don't you? Wow. Uh, yeah, well, more further evidence that they've been recording the same song over and over again for the last 20 years. Ouch. Burn. Um, it's all right. It's cookie-cutter stuff, isn't it? It's, it's what you come to expect. You know, pl the plaintive you know, vocals at the introduction. Then it goes loud. Then it goes quiet again. Then it goes loud. Then you have like the guitar bit. And then it ends with the... It's cookie-cutter stuff. And the fans will love it. doesn't irritate me it's not particularly good because it's what they do over and over again and you guys love it and that's great well done you but why don't you go and listen to In, in Absentia instead because you've, you've, you know, you've had that for like 20 years now haven't you, you know, to listen to <laughs> I mean you know there's not a lot of, there's not a lot going on is there really it's not a lot there's not a lot going on here, is there? You know, even even the, the tone the tone palette that they use is very much. The one thing I, I'd say it's a bit busy. The drums are a bit busy. I think um, I think um, Gavin Harrison should have been a little bit more restrained in the drum parts. You know, on the on the more you know, reserved bits. I think he was a little bit play, a little bit overplayed. He should have he should have just just maybe a little bit of hi hat and stick. You know. To, you know, just and then belted it out on the loud bitch. You know, really hammered it. Um, other than that, it's porcupine tree. It's more of the same. It's what you expect. It's of the new day. It's again. It's that thing of moving forward in time rather than looking back. You know, a thousand other songs have have, have covered it better. That topic better. Um, the usual weak, weedy vocals from Wilson. Um, the almost underplayed guitar. I mean, it's not a guitar solo, is it? It's just, eh, eh, eh. 
But yeah, you're going to love the new album because it's going to sound just like the old album. Yeah, yeah. But better than the last song because it's just, you know, it's just, it's not going to frighten the horses. <sighs> What's there to say? It's just so vapid. All of the stuff that they do is just so vapid, isn't it? You you listen to this, you enjoy this. Good. This is how poor music culture has become. It's become this. This is where we we've gone to those heady days of the sixties and seventies, through the weird experimentation of the eighties, you know, the reinvention of rock in the nineties, and then we're here to this. This is what this is what it culminates with the damp fart of an ending, you know. Ah, great. <laughs> oh well, I did it. I didn't want to do it. I'll end up doing the album because you know it'll get views. You're only doing this for the views. Damn straight. <laughs> uh, don't look. You know. You see my ugly face. You know what I'm gonna do. It's become, it, they do parody. They parody themselves, so then I parody myself. Because until they make music that's worthy of critique, worthy of my attention, this is what you're going to get. You know, this is just not even funny. This is, this is just, it's, it's pathetic. You know, it's, there's no invention there. There's no, oh, let's do something different. There's no, let's go, you know, his solo career, Porcupine Tree, is completely the same thing, obviously, and he writes the same kind of songs over and over again. And that's fine. That's fine, but I'm going to say that. And you're going to have to sit there and go, yeah, you're right, Darren. He does write the same songs over and over again. You know? I'm using the same the same people. Those are, they're a three-piece now. I mean... Ah... My mind boggles. I'm boggled that people enjoy this. But there you go. That's fine. But that's your, that's your thing. That's your. My, my thing is to go. Oh God, this is a. Do you get it? That's our relationship. It's a. It's like an abusive relationship. You ain't me. I ain't you. But we kind of need each other to validate each other's opinions. You know, it's that kind of relationship. <laughs> anyway, please, please get really upset in the comments so that I can make a se separate video about those comments. <laughs> and I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm boring myself. They bore me. It makes me boring. You know, boring music makes boring reviews. And that is the bottom line of it. Thank you for watching. My name is Darren Lock. I've been talking about Porcupine Tree and their fantastic new song of the new day, which sounds very much like all their old songs. You know, it is parody. Go and listen to it in absentia. You know, at least back then it was kind of a new thing, even though it was kind of weak. You know, kind of weak. You know, music you play your girlfriend, you know, to try and get him to go to gigs with you. <laughs> Progon, Tata, I don't know. It's not really prog, is it? Anyway, I'm out. So...